Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you five of my favorite shaving soaps for the summer. Stay tuned. Hi guys, how are you? John here from Lather Hog. Today I'll be talking about five of my favorite shaving soaps that I used this past summer. I chose a variety of scent styles, so there's bound to be one in this list that you're gonna love. So the following list is in no particular order, and I decided on soaps that were available uh, readily. There's no small batch, there's no limited edition. One thing I really wanted to focus on was to choose soaps that you could go after watching this video and pick up for yourselves. Whether it's a sample, whether it's an entire tub, um, availability was really a key uh, in putting these choices together. So let's move on to the first shaving soap. All right, so first up we have Sterling Soap Company Island Man. Now for my list, I wanted one fragrance-inspired soap, and I've chosen Sterling Island Man because it's a clone of Creed's Virgin Island Water. So Sterling Soap Company, if you've never heard of it, really offers one of the best bang for your buck. Um, it has such a large variety of scents um, all year round, as well as seasonals. So what they also have are a lot of cologne-inspired uh, shaving soap scents. So. You know, if you're into colognes, into fragrances, uh, there's a lot to choose from. Now, while there are a bunch of notes in this scent, uh, the most prominent ones are coconut, citrus, florals, and musk. And for the summer, it's gonna bring to mind tropical fruity drinks by the poolside or at the beach, especially the kinds with the little umbrella inside. And actually, my wife is a big fan of this scent as well, so that's bonus points for me. All right, second on the list is Mike's Natural Soaps Lime. So Mike's Natural Soaps is one of the earliest artisans in the wet shaving space. So it's been around since 2009. It's a tallow-based soap, and it also is very well-priced. Aside from their barbershop scent, um, most of their scents actually are only between one and three notes. So they're not overly complex, but the quality is really nice. Uh, and if you kind of don't want anything um, too crazy, too complicated, I think you should really check out this artisan. So for their lime scent, it is very straightforward. It does smell like natural lime. It's bright, not overly sweet, and it's perfect for the summer. We're not looking for anything too complicated. Scent strength on the tub is strong to my nose. So if you like a good, robust scent, definitely go with this one. All right, so third on the list is Barrister and Man Bay Rum. Now Bay Rum is a wet shaving classic and you'll find any number of artisans with their version of the scent, and sometimes multiple variations on Bay Rum. So Barrister and Man has what I believe is a top tier soap base. It's definitely one of my favorites. So notes on this one are Bay, Rum, Orange, Benzoin, and Cinnamon. So to my nose, this is a sweet and spicy combination. Um, it's a little more, almost a modernized version of Bay Rum. And the most important thing for me, for Barrister and Man's version, is there's no clove. I do not like clove in Bay Rums. And in general, I don't like clove as a scent note. So really, this is one of the few Bay Rums I like and reach for. Scent strength off the tub is about medium strong. The aftershave is excellent as well. So I think this is one of the cases where you do want to pick up the soap and matching splash because they just go really well together and it'll carry that scent with you for the duration of the day. Okay, so fourth on the list we have Oaken Lab Batavia Barber. So Batavia Barber is an artisan based in Indonesia, relatively new to the scene, but really is putting out an excellent product with great packaging and labels, you know, making for an all around great experience. So the label description does a great job painting a picture of the inspiration of this scent. It says, rustling fan, worn leather, fresh towel. The actual notes on this one include citrus, musk, and powder. So when using this one, I do picture myself sitting in a worn leather barbershop chair, kind of with a fan blowing, no AC, door open, breeze coming in to cool you every now and then, maybe a beat of old fan oscillating inside the store, and some great Motown tunes playing on the radio in the background. Lastly, I do think this barbershop scent could be all year round, but it really, really shines in the summer. All right, last but not least is West Coast Shaving Parabur Shop. So Parabur Shop comes in a jojoba shaving cream, which is a vegan-based cream, and is made for West Coast shaving by Katie's Bubbles. Now, I might be using this phrase a lot, but really, this is a top-tier choice if you specifically are looking for a vegan option. 
The cream is incredibly easy to lather or prepare, and the post shave on this one is just outstanding. So notes on this one include pear, menthol, geranium, and oak moss. Now to my nose, the pear is really the main thing I get. I don't really get too much of a barbershop vibe, but I do understand there are other notes here to kind of round out the scent. It's sweet and fruity, but not cloyingly sweet. And since that specific note really isn't used that much in wet shaving, I think this one would really occupy a, a unique corner in your shave then if you were to pick it up. All right guys, so that's my list. What do you think? Are those soaps that you've tried? Are there any shaving soaps that I missed that should be on this list? Let me know in the comments below. If you're enjoying the video, please like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Take care, bye-bye.